What up, motherfuckers, and welcome to yet another episode of the Wine Bottles and Watch Calls Podcast. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Damo Hicks, along with me is T Two Times, aka Taron Gates. <laughs> and you see the homie wearing the Pistons jersey hat backwards, playing on his home court, boxing the screen in his square, doing square yep. I don't even know what episode this is. What is it, 39? Nah, it all blends together. Episode quarantine two. <laughs> quarantine two. Like it's like AD. Right. No, it's all over. All, we gotta start putting uh pre-quarantine. Yes, and post-quarantine. <laughs> post-quarantine. And that's where we are. We at post. Like Erica Badu on her shit. Post. This is this is during quarantine. <laughs> yeah, Erica, Erica Badu is putting AC on all her dates after quarantine, after Corona. That's what she's putting after Ooh. Corona. We ain't after yet. No, no, we definitely ain't after. We during. We during. He's still around. This is this is Ra- Raleigh during. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see what I did there? I see. What you, I see you. <laughs> see what I did there? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And right, so, comes so let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's just, just go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about the uh all the niggas who couldn't stay past um the war once they got paid and it was the first of the month and they had to go ahead and brush their shoulders off and get them crabbed in. Yeah. Really? And y'all couldn't stay away from each other even at the wharf? Motherfuckers couldn't 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 not for once show that uh we don't always go get seafood when it's the first of the month. We couldn't we couldn't we couldn't break that stereotype. I right, had my question, which one made us look worse, that or Popeyes? Oh. Either way, white people are tuning in. So, which one? Okay, is- so, so, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the war. I'm gonna tell you why because it is in a, the Popeyes joint was there was no quarantine, right? No quarantine, and motherfuckers could just do it just to do it, right? But with the war, you, there's clearly a sign that says stay six feet away, and yeah, motherfuckers, sign- motherfuckers was up on motherfuckers like it was a go go. There was people gathered right by the sign. Like people. And you're risking death. You're risking death. Sign, uh, sign right here. Motherfuckers at the sign like this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Six feet, my <laughs> yeah. Mm, I was hoping that at least I was hoping maybe the picture was off. Like maybe it was a picture from a couple oh. weeks ago. Hey, look, yeah. that joint was the, the news went down there and snitched that joint out. Yeah, people were saying, "Oh, it's photoshopped and all this stuff." This can't be. The real. news was there. It was all the over. The news was there. I know. And, Look, you know. and you know the news. We already went over that before. You know the news was straight up snitch you out. <laughs> the, the, the president in secret location that happens to be right down the street from FedEx Field, around the corner from uh, you know the dispensary they just built right there. Like that's how they tell. That's how they tell hey, everything. And here's my question though. Um, two things. One, I saw that they were towing people down there. And my thing is, okay, why didn't they show that this is a real, like, this would have been a chance to show. All it took was for them to lock up one or two people and get them that $1,000 fine. I'd have ran. Jokers would have hopped in their car like, like uh, Grand Theft Auto. Yes. I'd have ran. And I'd have jumped <laughs> in the car just to not get that $1,000 fine. Why didn't they lock anybody up? They would have hit the Duke boys joint and slid over the hood. <laughs> <laughs> You see, oh. Bowser, Mayor Bowser already shut that shit down. Hey, hey no more fish for nobody. Why didn't, they, why didn't they lock anybody up? Because DC police don't want to do. They don't want to do that anyway. They don't want to do. Look, if niggas, here's a here's the messed up part. If niggas had done the the spacing, the people who work there would still be working there today. Instead, right. Of that, no job. right. So, so they I know can't nobody get no crap. Yeah, the, the, the people that work, they got to be pissed off. Like, yeah, we got nothing now. <laughs> have nothing. And you have nothing either. Right. Nothing either. <sighs> don't think like that, man. Motherfuckers about to, uh, motherfuckers about to come up on the, uh, on, on the, uh, the fish section in, in, in Safeway and Jack. And see, here's the thing, right. too. Now you realize what niggas are going to do if they get that $1,200 check. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they had to close the, that's how they had to close the wall. It's kind of, it's kind of letting you know Hey, when y'all give me this check, I oh, normally right. I normally come here and get the smalls and the mediums, but I'm gonna buy for the block. I'm getting the the largest. I'm getting the jumbos. Black Mike is on his way home. That's right. Look, he gonna be like this. <laughs> Buying crab for the whole block. <laughs> <laughs> Black 
Mike got out because the quarantine was in the jail and he had a non-violent uh <laughs> yeah, he had a he had a, a class a class four misdemeanor. He getting out in no time. Welcome home. We got these friends. He only had to do 60 days. <laughs> Quarantine. Quarantine. All right. All right, so look, here's my question too. I pitched this to people yesterday on my Facebook. Lay it on, man. If this happened in the winter, how would this be different? Neighborhood snowball fights. But would we, would we be able to get rid of it faster? Nah, it would probably be worse. Mm -mm, because it would, it, would, it would just lay dormant in the, in the cold. In the right. freeze. Right. And then once it started to warm up, that jungle cut. No, that's real. It lays dormant in the cold. It waits for you, like. No, yeah. what I'm saying is, all it's gonna do is just slow down, just like, uh, just like refrigeration of meat decaying. Well, they keep saying that it's gonna happen. And I was in anyway. right. Yeah, but trust me, motherfuckers would be outside having snowball fights and people. But it wouldn't have been as many. You got people outside for no reason at all right now, just because I need to be outside. In the winter time, they can be like, "Oh, okay, I don't need to be out there anyway." That that right. But my only other issue though is is that you would probably have a lot of people with colds, thinking that they got it just because they had a cold because it's winter time. Yeah, I mean, you got motherfuckers right now sneezing all over people saying it's allergies. Well, see, sneezing ain't even a part of the corona thing. It's not right. though. It's definitely not. It's cold. Nah, my stomach was hurting yesterday. My friend was like, yeah, you got corona. I'm like, nigga, that's not even a part of the process. It's not even close. <laughs> so, 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 the, so the CDC was like, yeah, uh, don't wear no mask. It's not going to do nothing. And then this week, they was like, hey, if you're going out in public, you should wear a mask. You wear a mask. Like, like how are you going to sit there and tell me no and then tell me you might want to do that? Yeah. Right. They said you should wear it in public places, like if you go to grocery stores and things like that. But, hold up, but you just told me it's not going to do shit. Yeah, okay, so can y'all do me... I need y'all both to call my wife because she wouldn't, she didn't want to roll the window down in the car today as we were driving on the beltway. I'm like, I'm certain the Corona is not on the highway going into the windows of cars. Let me find out the Corona is, uh, is, is sniping people from the, <laughs> from, from the zone. Oh, if that's okay. the case, look, you seen this, you seen this picture of the dude in the full on scuba gear joint, right? That's scuba Steve. <laughs> I, I, for the people that's not watching the video, I know you've seen the picture of the dude that's in his shopping center. And he's in like a grocery store with a full on scuba suit on with an air tank and, and the whole nine. It's, I, I don't think it's there yet, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you how he going to get the corona just having to take that shit off to get back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> he going to bring the corona in the car with you. Right. And he gonna have to. He gonna have to. Once he busts them them seals on that mask, he gonna be like, "Good." <laughs> <laughs> all of that shit is all that corona. Oh, he gonna get all of that shit. Just taking the shit off. Oh. Try, to, try to throw it in the trunk, looking like a dumbass. Oh, he gotta put either. He either gotta put the groceries in the trunk. Either or way, that in the trunk. Either way, I saw. He, I saw he ain't fitting in the car with that whole. If, yeah, this, right. if, if this motherfucker is, is, is sitting sideways like this, so his tank don't <laughs> hit the back, <laughs> he's driving like this. He can't get in there like that, man. There's no way. That tank he might, he might be. What if, he, what if he, what if he, you know how, you know how motherfuckers used to do with their backpack? Take this shit move around the front. <laughs> you got a big ass tank right here. I mean, he got a full tank. I mean, this is like, like, a full scuba gear. That's Ooh, like he's going shark hunting. <laughs> Yeah, shark hunting for uh, butter and eggs. <laughs> Look, I saw a video where these two chicks got to fight at the grocery store with gloves on. I'm like, what's the purpose? Why, if you gonna put your hands on somebody with the gloves on, Corona so, is yours. So, so what they doing is they just transferring Corona. They should each be charged with attempted murder. That's it. Well, Once you your slap mouth. a motherfucker with a pair of gloves on, like, oh, 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 oh. Corona in the mouth. What? Yep. Right. Right. All it's right. I've seen this. I seen a, uh, on Facebook this uh this chick posted a video. A chick named Alma Alma, she put a post a video. She said she went she went to the grocery store. She was coming out. She opened up her trunk and she went around to the front of her car for something. When she came around the front, somebody tried to run off with her car. <laughs> she was like she was like so I'm just letting people know she getting bad out there. She's like look I went to the car. I had my gun in my car. I was about to, I was about to, she said, I fired a warning shot. 
Hey, so here's what's funny. Somebody told me there's a guy who spoke to on on social media. He said that he sells guns, and after this all ends is the prime season for people uh, returning guns or pawning guns after they done jumped off the deep end oh, with stuff that they think is going to be like when Trump got elected. Oh, let's go buy guns. It's going to go crazy. Okay, it ain't as crazy as what we thought. Oh, let's return these guns. I don't think I really need these. So, so that's why grocery stores not letting motherfuckers return uh, shit. Right. Because you all see? these motherfuckers went to hoarding mode. Yeah. And now you got now you got a whole uh, a den. You got a whole den full of toilet paper. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Got ten bathrooms. I can shit all these niggas. Of course. Yeah. I need to find some toilet paper right about now. I got down to two rolls. Oh, you gotta go. Hey, go tomorrow morning. Go to Target tomorrow morning at mm-hmm. eight o'clock. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going shopping in the morning. I didn't even go to that. Huh? Hmm? What time is senior citizen time? Oh, fuck them. <laughs> they got a time where it's just them. They do. Fuck, that shit don't saying. exist. That shit don't exist in Target. They was doing that shit at the mall. Ain't nobody going to the mall. I'm talking I, about I know. That's what I'm saying. So, so Target, Target open. I've been there. That, that motherfucker open at eight. Yeah. For everybody. Some supermarkets, mm-hmm. some yeah. supermarkets are doing that though. That some is Friday. Are doing that. that is Friday. This past Friday, that joint the lounge around the corner, because a first of the month. Wake a, up! Wake up! Wake up! A day, blah 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 blah. So you gotta go like a random Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday type of thing. Yeah, I do that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. When I get up, I just don't want to go on the weekends when other, when other people are home. Oh, I'm gonna go. Tomorrow. I'm gonna go to things. I'm gonna go to the table just to pick up a couple. I might go join a Costco or some shit just because I want to get. You wait in line to get into there. That line is like. Oh, that line is ridiculous. And see, that's the thing. That's what I don't want to do. And because they only letting a hundred people in, I think at a time. Man, oh, it's a line around the corner. That line is six feet apart from each other. Right, it's a really has long anybody, line. To get has, in. Has, has anybody even said anything about going to a uh, restaurant depot? But no. you gotta have a. Um... You don't. It's open for everybody. It's open for everybody. I didn't know that. Right now? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. I can give me some beef ribs. I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna hit that bitch. Oh, I didn't. Beef. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that Brother-in-law took a picture at, at the one in Jersey where he got a truck. Looked like he about to buy for the block once again. But <laughs> hey, do what you do. I ain't mad at you. Oh, are yo, you, I didn't. You, I did not you, know that. Are you, are you for real though? Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. So here's why we've gone before, and my wife's girlfriend had a car. Yeah. So that's, Brought it up saying that yeah, you don't nobody needs the car because because of this. Oh, yo, I need. I, I guess food, bro. that makes sense though because they were saying a lot of this. What they're saying but, is be sold to restaurants who aren't using it. Why right. not waste money somehow? See, they were saying it's a lot of waste, wasted food yeah. right yeah. now because even though us as consumers are buying more shit, the they, real they, amount of food is being the bulk food. Market. The restaurants. It's by restaurants, uh, uh, restaurant stadiums, yeah, uh, colleges oh, yeah. And, and and schools. Those are the big accounts, and none of them are hitting them. So, so wow. Hmm. So that's a, okay. So where were you at a couple weeks ago? Because my whole freezer should be nothing but beef ribs and 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 and, and, and great shit. Yeah. yeah. Get that shit straight. I might do that. That's gonna be part of my tomorrow while I'm out. You fuck around. That might be part of my tomorrow. I'm serious. If I don't I make that, that. Today, I didn't won't be know part that. of mine. Huh? Won't be part of mine. That sounds like fun. And she I'm gonna call, call him and see if uh if that's real. Right. Yeah. Jump, feel free to double check. Let a nigga know. But I'm certain, according to management. <laughs> And people who are on the podcast that didn't see what I just did, uh, I pointed elsewhere in the house. I'm in the basement. You see the hoop? Have y'all, have y'all seen the, uh, the, the fucking, uh, the video joint, uh, all the motherfuckers is spraying like the little aerosol joints in their mouth, but then they have a lighter and blow the shit out and then they're burning all their face the fuck up? No. No. That's dumb. So you motherfuckers take an aerosol, they go, and then get a lighter and go, and that shit be like, <laughs> and then motherfuckers just be laughing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I brown said they ain't got burnt the fuck off. Have y'all seen the one with all the dudes in jail? Um no. doing the, the, the baby. <laughs> you got an baby. exclusive uh passcode to that one. That's that's a part uh, of the poor stuff they didn't give away for free. This was social media. Uh 
Were they in jail doing the little baby come give me something? No. And they stepped to the side. You all seen that video? I have seen people do that, but I have not seen people in prison. Just no. Prison. Yeah, like four, like five dudes. And I'm like, y'all got a hold of a phone with a camera and that's what y'all did? That's what y'all did? So somebody got a phone in there. Yeah. And that's, and that's what they came up with. They was like, come up with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> I was like, dude, somebody will get raped at the end of this. And y'all playing around. Oh, they gonna, they, they, they don't know that the game is on. Rewatch that. They're going to rewatch that and say, uh, let's, now let's do it again naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you go last. <laughs> when he's doing his, everybody was already naked. Like, yeah, you thought it was a game, huh? Whoa. Baby, come give me something. That's, that's your ass. Right there. <laughs> That's <laughs> What if the last thing it came through? What if the last thing was like? And then pull a shank out and was like. <laughs> <laughs> he he recorded himself getting more time in prison. Recorded himself stacked up on, on Corona cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> corona stabbing. None of these niggas had masks on either. Yeah, this shit wild out here, bro. But is it uh, yes, it is providing some good uh competition. Did y'all see uh Lil John versus T Pain the other night? I heard I about it. You, uh, and let me tell you, let me tell you, I can only guess the T Pain won because he won the mass singer, my nigga. Yo, I guessed that like weeks ahead of time too. It, I don't know he won. I don't watch it. I don't what, know. The mass singer? No. Yeah. I don't watch I don't TV. Shit. That shit doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. I only watch uh shows that have a a feeling that they might have a, sim a, a cinematic triumph feel to them, Stop. you know, love and hip hop stuff like that. So you, so you, oh watch, my God. All the, you watch all the bootleg, all the bootleg uh, sports right. on the old show. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, I've been watching NBA Two K Twenty. Uh, I've been watching nineteen ninety four uh, NBA fi uh, playoffs. Um, <laughs> you know what I watched the other day? I watched Bulls versus Blazers, yeah. and uh, no one can stop um, Dan Marley. <laughs> Look, I watch it acting like I don't know who's going to win. Hmm, wonder who's going to win this one. So that's funny because last night, WrestleMania came on, right? Oh, oh you talking about, the, uh, you talking about, the, you talking about the, uh, the the silent library wrestling tournament. So, so last night I had... It was last night. I had D-Nice on one half of my computer screen, like, and then I had WrestleMania on the other half with the, with the sound muted, but I was listening to D-Nice. So D-Nice was, like, pretty much all the sound. I was listening to him. It was, I don't know none of these wrestlers, man. I don't know none of these dudes. So like you said, I turned that shit off and I went back to like 1998, 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, yeah. watched the old WrestleMania with Stone Cold and The Rock. And yeah, that's the best move. I, I went back to that. And I had, and I was watching like I had never seen this shit. I ain't know what was going on. Stone Cold it was great. It was great, man, watching Stone Cold's old stuff. Man. This is, I don't know none of these new people. Me motherfuckers, motherfuckers is outside. Once, once, look, let me tell you something. Once the sun come out, motherfuckers to pull their motorcycles out. That's that's the best. That's the best vehicle for social distancing, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> People riding around their motorcycles. Yeah, it's just it's just you verse. You got a helmet and everything. <laughs> you wear gloves. You What's got your a jacket. Or somebody else. No, nah, you don't ride with nobody else with with social distancing. You you could, you gotta tell them uh you see them when you come back. <laughs> or you just man, there's your social distance. But see, even still, they got a helmet on too, so technically that's still social distance. True, it's not gonna get through the glass. It's definitely not gonna get through helmet to helmet. That's crazy. And you're going fast enough that if they do call, that shit is a memory. That joint is just in the wind. So is this the motorcycle, buddy? That's got to be real. That's got to be the real deal. Holy field right there. I'm trying to tell you what I know. That's true. Now, I'm, outside, I'm outside people watching, bro. I swear to you, there are more uh, non-fit people doing fit exercises just to get their fat asses out the house away from a box of donuts. No, they're not. They're coming back. That donut's going to be right there. They ain't oh, 100%. 100%. Let me, look, again, like I said, the last episode, you could tell motherfuckers is not used to working out because they got on jeans. <laughs> like you know, running. You know, <laughs> no one worries that this is that's a motherfucker who just need to clear his mind. <laughs> that's called, you know what? I'm out of here. And that's not even that's not even a person who 
who was sitting around with their family, like, you know what? Let's just go for a walk. Nah, because you would have on, like, let me go change real quick so we can go for a walk. Well, you got on jeans. And that might be somebody whose who's carburetor went down on them and <laughs> the water pump go out, then you, you, you involuntarily walk. And let me tell you something. That yeah, was real uh, specific, Marcus. You, 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 you sound like this, is, like this is happening to you before. That, sound like that, that sounded like yesterday. <laughs> oh, 95. <laughs> it is. No, actually, if you had a car with a carburetor now, I'm looking at you funny. Because uh, fuel injection. Yeah, they don't got carburetors like that no more. Yeah, you got a, you got a classic car right there. <laughs> And if you got a classic car, you you gonna have some problems anyway. You might as well keep some uh, <laughs> keep some tennis shoes in the trunk or a scooter hey, or something. Hey, look, there's a there's a lady outside walking her dog. She got on jeans, a sweatshirt tied around her waist, and a blouse. <laughs> she got three young boys with her. You know what that meant, right? She was trying to get the fuck out the house. And they trying to like, get out the house. Go. I want to go. And they just and they just called them. She was just like, fuck. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to get out of this house. Help. <laughs> he said, help. 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 Oh, there you go. Look. Yeah. She couldn't get away from him. Oh, oh monkey ass snitches. That's going to be Marcus in a minute. He's going to be rocking. He's going to be walking down 202. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no sidewalk. <laughs> That's just straight dirt and street. It's, it's, ain't, no, right. it's gonna ain't no be, sidewalk or nothing. It's, it's, gonna be, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be Marcus walking down uh, 202 with a bone density machine. <laughs> and his son and his son and daughter chasing behind him. In a brown suit. <laughs> bone density machine. Sleep, sleeping in the bathroom of Xfinity. <laughs> What a bone density machine. Oh, stop. Hey, <laughs> hey, where you get a bone density machine from, bro? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that part of the that part of the charter school uh work <laughs> program uh equipment. And like whatever and whatever this is, we give you this, we whatever this is. I'll take this. The bone density oh, machine. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> bone, bone density. <laughs> Oh, hey, that movie is a cinematic triumph. <laughs> I will go with that. <laughs> that one, I will go with. Pursue the happiness. That, my definition, is a cinematic triumph. No, it's not. It's a heart jerker, but not a cinematic triumph. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Not I'll tell you what. From what I know, a cinematic triumph is everything you don't want to be in. Those are the <laughs> movies you don't want to be in. A cinematic triumph is that movie that that touches you? You know what a cinematic triumph is to you? The culture is if they ever did like a uh, like a uh, you know how they used to do them uh, six part joints on on TV when it's supposed to be like the movie of a of a of a, of a, of a show. Yeah. Like yeah. They do the movie version. So if like yeah. Living Single did like a six part episode, <laughs> yeah. and it and it, and it just culminated in the uh, cow cow fucking Khadijah or some some shit like that. <laughs> That to you would be a cinematic triumph. That is a no, cinematic triumph no. for you. Shit, I want to be there. Living single the movie. Triumph is a movie that you can't make. Motion picture. You can't make a part two of Wu or Belly. No. You're not going to get the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> Fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me once. Can't fool me again. <laughs> Fool me once. Can't fool me again. They're going to say a what? A number two. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, get up out of here. I'm so mad. I'm trying to watch Wu, and I cannot <laughs> watch it. Like it's not out there for me to see. Like I want to watch this shit. And it is not available. That is the first time. That is the first time that anyone has been arrested in a pitch meeting for a movie. It was like, all right, so I got this joint. You might have seen the first one. There's the cinematic film. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they were like, uh, security, security. <laughs> I got, I got another one for you too. Security. Hey, I Spy by Eddie Murphy. Cinematic triumph. Oh Lord, he didn't go. Wait, 
when he did the remake, the remake of the Bill Cosby joke? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if it was a remake of it, because it was him and Owen. Oh, Owen. As bad as the only thing I know, like, that. that's a... Uh, also Owen Hart, but that's the wrestler. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's the white dude Owen with the nose? Owen Wilson. Owen, yes. Oh, Owen Wilson. Him and Owen Wilson. He's a boxer. Owen, Owen Hart. <laughs> Not Owen Hart, no. <laughs> that would make a difference. Maybe Owen, Hart, uh, Owen Hart's, uh, his zip line, uh, <laughs> safety cord ain't. <laughs> that joint did not catch. Yeah, it did. WrestleMania. That jungle went in Georgia the jungle. That motherfucker was like, ah. When, when that joint happened, they had to do something like this. Uh, go to camera two. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I can't show that. Oh. We're back. Cut, cut the commercial. Cut the commercial. We can't cut the commercial. This is live. Uh, WrestleMania, cut to that channel. Go to, go to camera three. <laughs> they be like, cut, to, uh, cut to Stone Cold so he can do his uh, monologue. He's like. <laughs> what? I wasn't ready. Look, Stone Cold was uh, like, what? What? Uh, what? Is, th is this thing on? What? Hello? Oh. Man, does anyone have anything that they're learning during this corona time sitting in the crib? They say try to try to learn try to learn new skills so, during this, this time in the career. So this was proposed online the other day. Somebody was saying, like, what is it that you're doing now that you didn't do before this, right? PlayStation 4. No, the the overwhelming response was people are cooking at home more now than ever. Like, like most people don't cook. At home, like everybody's learning new shit. Like you're oh, cooking at home more. That's not, sad. I, I don't. I thought it was down in the crib. You say, Marcus? So I gotta say this quietly. Uh, my wife wants me to learn how to cook. I'd be damned if I learn how to cook, because then that's gonna be something else that's gonna be thrown on my plate. Like you need to cook us dinner. I ain't watch the kid. No, fuck that. I don't know how to cook. Yeah. But people are, are cooking at home more. People are going online and figuring out recipes and uh people cutting their own hair, stuff like that. That too. Well, that people are gonna try. Well, I was say like women who ain't who haven't put a perm in their hair or haven't done nothing, they they they're doing it themselves. They're doing their own nails. Yo, I'm telling you oh. right now, there are gonna be more head wraps on women coming up. Selfies being but posted. It's gonna be like, like the, the 90s, like like with Queen Latifah. There's so it's many chicks. be a lot with them, of head wraps. There's so many chicks with them long ass, like them, them Wolverine claws. Yeah. That yeah. they them joints is like half on, half off. One of them like three of them is like broke. Huge gap between where you can see that all the oh, nails. Yeah. The, the new yeah. bro, the shit. <laughs> yeah, broke, yeah, you can wear it broke off because she was trying hey, to get the uh, mailing like you want to install something. And hey, they're gonna, like, people are gonna have to learn how to cut their own hair and shit like that. I did a lot of niggas with beards. I, I grew mine back just because I just wanted to. Look at that right there. But I don't care. But I got the clippers to shape it up and shit. Get mine. Look at that. Do it. Got my mm, right mm, here. Mm, mm. But I don't care. Who's that? I'm, I'm, I'm in the house. I don't care. Look at that. Mm, 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 I, I'm mm, 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 mm. What, what? That would be posing for the people that uh cut their own hair. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh, about to get stoned there by Hornet. Oh, well. Huh? Oh. I heard him buzzing. I was like, I thought I was going to leave a Hornet's nest or something. I didn't know. Uh, People died I, of I had one on mine. Oh, I do see a motherfucker trying to build one, though. I could gun, I could gun his ass down. I got some spray, too. Yeah, I was about to say, I had one. I had to take care of that last summer. I had that motherfucker yeah, spray in the again. face of this guy. Stop it. Yep. Man, but you're right. I don't know. Cutting hair, okay. cooking. Here's a uh, here's a here's a here's a question. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So, flats or drums? <laughs> this is easy. I am a drum dude. Same here. Drums. Yes. I like it all. It's chicken. I eat it all. What do you got to pick? Huh? What do you got to pick? 
I don't want a pick. I eat the whole thing. Just keep it together. You ain't got to pull it apart. No, they did. They separated it. You got to pick one. It costs extra to do all flats and all wings. I mean, all drums. It costs extra. <laughs> Just give it to me regular price. I'm with it, you on that. But I'm saying there is an overwhelming, there's a lot of people that flats. I want all flats. I don't understand that. You don't, don't get no more it. You don't get more meat. It, get, it, it makes no sense to me. People love the flats. and I got a question for y'all, too. Chicken and what is it? Uh, chicken and waffles. Or shrimp and grits? Chicken and waffles. I don't like grits. I like shrimp and, shrimp and grits. You don't like grits? Grits no. are amazing. I don't like anything you can either make sweet or savory. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Either give me one or the other. I don't want to, I don't want the option to be able to do both. That's weird to me. Parents, you know you can mute his mic, too. I just want to I say can, that. and I wanted to right there. Oh. It's, like, it's like around the horn. I wish I could take yeah. points away. Yeah. <laughs> mute him and take points away. You're losing points. And you could have yeah, been a good thing. I literally just sat here and sprayed a spider that was running up on me. He'll be back. <laughs> that nigga'll be back. You should have killed me. <laughs> oh, oh, I was about to say, with what? But this nigga is prepared. Should have killed me. Nigga comes prepared. He has this shit. <laughs> you blast him like the end of minutes. <laughs> this guy, I'm outside. This is where they be at. Guess what? Now you wrong Not for that. Nothing, yeah. And I mean, I like chicken and waffles, but I would take chicken and waffles is great. Yeah. No. Let me tell you something. Waffles, Let me tell you something. I mean, First off, shrimp and grits better. Shrimp and grits. Mm. I mean, I know I know people that love shrimp and grits, mm. and it looks like it could be a thing. That'd be me. Hey. But I don't really want to eat shrimp and mush, right? Ain't nothing you, better than some fried chicken and some and a and a, and a flaky ass. Oh, nope, not at all. Good old vanilla waffle. I want to. I want to call Popeyes and try the breakfast. Mm. You say like I've breakfast? been. I've been out to L.A. Been to the Roscoe's out there in Compton and got the hey I, waffle. Okay. That shit was good. It was great. I met Roscoe. Really, it was good. <laughs> but I still take chicken shrimp and grits. I yeah. met Roscoe and Roscoe talked to me like a uh, like a pimp talks to a prospect. That's because he was just Roscoe from around the way. He had nothing to do with the organization at all. He was <laughs> a name something. Name we was Roscoe. in there. It was a couple of us too. I can't remember who I was with, but we was all sitting there getting getting the uh, the chicken and waffles and 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 the. Uh, See, the real Roscoe wouldn't get no chicken and waffles from. Roscoe. No, no, he wasn't there. He he wasn't he wasn't at the table with us. And somebody was like, "Yo, that's Roscoe." And it was a dude wearing a, like a pimp suit. Oh man. He was standing you know, at the bro. front talking to everybody. He was like the nigga they call Roscoe. <laughs> and so we walked up to him and was like. We walked up to him and was like, hey. <laughs> that, that's like, him saying, I don't want, I don't want no part of this. <laughs> I'm just telling you the story. <laughs> and so the dude was like, so I was like, so and so he was standing there and, and I was like, hey, are you Roscoe? They say you Roscoe. He was like, hey, I am who I need to be when I need to be. <laughs> I'm like, did tell you. <laughs> that tell you, that was Roscoe Jenkins, the character from Martin's movie. That was Roscoe Jenkins. That dude talked to me in pimp talk. And he's about to be on a stroll. <laughs> Follow right. me, baby. Know that I'm gonna do what's best for you and for me. Oh my God. Uh, let's, go to, let's go to the let's go to the roof of this uh fine establishment. You see all that over there? That could all be all of ours. <laughs> and work hard for it. No, you can get all your dreams and accomplishments. No, that I'm gonna do what's best for you and for me, baby. That's right. You see everything the sun, the sun touches. That one day could be ours. <laughs> Eat these waffles, biatch. They call me Midas because I got the golden touch, bitch. <laughs> you almost got pimped by some nigga named Roscoe. By right. He probably had a waffle house. You weren't even at Roscoe's chicken and waffle. <laughs> that nigga said, I am who I need to be when I need to be it. <laughs> he said that shit with a straight face, too. I am who I need to be, bitch. <laughs> oh, stop. This is how, this, you was in LA? Where were you at? You was in LA? In, in LA? Yeah. So, he probably wasn't. Yeah. This motherfucker probably in North Carolina. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> we was we was on the we was at Roscoe's. Roscoe's house. Oh, he was just he just happened to be there. Nigga, I guess. <laughs> you I also be, went to also went to a spot in I also went to a spot in LA right down the street from the uh the 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 director's deal. A spot called um called the Griddle. In LA, if you don't believe me, look it up. And in that joint, 
that's gonna be packed and the and the 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 food in that bitch is delicious. And coming from the bathroom, I was on my way to the bathroom and past me coming out the bathroom was Topanga from Boy Meets World. And I was like, bruh, she's sick as fuck. In person. <laughs> in person? I thought that shit was just just TV. In person? <sighs> <laughs> Look, Mark is like another cinematic triumph. Yeah, yeah, Topanga. <laughs> I put Topanga hey. in a bit. Six from Blossom. I called her. I called her Topanga to her face. And she ignored you immediately. No, nope. no, she didn't. She waved and said hi, and then kept walking. And I turned around and scoped all of that sundress. Look like, look like two little. Two little fat gerbils fighting for supremacy underneath a blanket. Miss Fat Booty came on. Oh I'm, my god! I can't control this now. So <laughs> oh yeah. And this too so too Hey, let me tell you something. That that was special. I'll never, I'll never forget. You. I'll <laughs> never forget you, Topanga. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget you. Boy, I don't. Came. But it looked like it was uh it looked like she had uh her last name and first name in her back pockets. And she never did nothing after that, did she? Who cares? No, I care. She could have done more. She'd have got my support. Well, she did uh she did boy boy meets world and then she did girl meets world. Same thing. Same right. Thing. It's still bread. That's nothing. No, that means she did nothing after that. And then she did the uh the boy meets world um reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a cinematic sign. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Hey, did you know that the, the dude that played uh Mr. Feeney on that show was the voice for Kit in Night Rider? Really? What? No. I think you're making hey, this up. Y'all know shit about TV, man. I think you're making this up. Why would I make that up? Well, I, 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 I question that with a lot of things you say sometimes. Why would you make that up? Yeah. Uh, why would I make that? Doesn't make sense to make that up. That's him. Look it up. All Mr. Right. Feeney, voice for Kit, Night Rider. Michael. Michael. <laughs> That's, That's him. Look at Mr. Feeney, too. That's now him. imagine him saying, Mr. Matthews. <laughs> the niggas have stole the car. <laughs> Mr. Matthews shouldn't be driving this car. Where's the pain? Hey, buddy, everybody who walks fast does look healthy. <laughs> this, this is one thing. It's sad, man. They won't be, it's a nice day today. Yeah, but this, this person right here doesn't look like they should come out. <laughs> stay inside. Just you. No, you, sir. You stay inside. Everybody else is good. I think, I think it was a woman. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, it looked like it looked like Ted Nugent. <laughs> Stop that shit. With a with a house coat on. <laughs> <laughs> I would show you, I would have flipped my camera around, but I didn't want it to notice me. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. When it was up on you, then then what? What if it calls my direct? It did not look healthy. It looked unhealthy. When it bites you, then you wanna look unhealthy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I had to go in the storm door quick. Like this. <laughs> hey, have y'all been ordering a bunch of shit? Like, since you don't go to the store, do you, do you find yourself ordering a bunch of nonsense? No. Uh, nope. Just I'm saying, like, hell. <laughs> you say it's just, just me. <laughs> no, I, I have cut back on everything. I just bought some containers that. Um, wow. They zip like Ziploc bags, as if they're not plastic. They like made out of silicone. What the fuck? And they're reusable. Seriously, dude. <laughs> you might do it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they popped up on my uh on my Facebook feed, and I was like, that looks interesting. Well, you know what? I I, I feel because I'm gonna go get uh, Reverend Peter Popoff's Miracle Spring Water. That's available at three in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that an expression? No. Reverend, yeah. Reverend Peter Popoff at three in the morning 
If you buy the Miracle Spring water. That joint sound like porn. Yo. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I be up. No. <laughs> hey, so you, you you call, right? He comes on and he's like, yeah, if you order the Miracle Spring water, blah, 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 and take it, do that, what it takes. So then they have all the people, like, they interview him, like, tell me about it. Yeah, so I got the spring water and I followed the directions and I was $7,000 in debt and then I got a check for $7,000 the next day. And the next so, person, so hold on, hold on. Oh, all right. Okay. What, Reverend what, Peter Pop on. Hold on, what, what's, the, what, what's, the, what's the trick? Like, what do you have to do? You have to, you have what to the directions? for the water and then follow the directions. I haven't done it. I'm going to do so it. What's the, so what's the directions? What do you, like, throw it up in the air, catch it? Oh, no. Put it back in the cup? I ain't done it yet. Throw it outside? Is, is this like a pasta or something? Yes, yes. Reverend Peter Pop off. Yeah. The same dude who got that coat that he slapped you with his no. coat. <laughs> Even though I saw <laughs> it's the same oh. motherfucker that either slapped you with his coat. Somebody wow. posted you just fall out. Somebody said that. that. Like, Try to run him get the butt. Peter pop off. Peter pop off. I don't Peter. trust none of that shit. That just sounds like uh, yeah, that, that sounds like porn star. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out on that one. He's like he got a he got a handle style mustache, a handlebar mustache, and a mullet. <laughs> I don't even want to. I just want like a couple hundred dollars to give me a scoreboard in my corner right here. I don't even need right. seven thousand on none of that other stuff that they be getting. Well, you Man, let you us know. know. You keep you know us informed of how this shit is going. I will. I'm gonna let you know, Reverend Peter, pop off. And let us let us know when you join the cult too, so we can uh <laughs> find somebody to, to to replace you on the podcast once you go in. <laughs> And drink a uh, motor oil to <laughs> the spaceship behind the sun. <laughs> when the rocket ship comes, Reverend Peter, Bob, oh, Reverend Peter, trust me, that, Peter. Don't sound, that don't sound like nothing. Reverend Peter, pop off. Yeah, nah, pass. nah, right, pass, pass, pass. hard pass. Uh, so I guess I hard. Have you? <laughs> the last motherfucker with a name like that was Bernie Madoff, and we'll we hey, all know. He made it. You sound like somebody who might might hit you. What what happened, man? Peter pop off. Peter, Peter ain't fucking with none of y'all. Y'all here like get this spring water, baby. Tell me the miracle spring water. Let me fill it up. Let me fill up some more of these in my to in my toes. <laughs> he living <me> flint. <laughs> there you go. See, you gonna be in church. You seen the dude uh the, the church guy, the brother Franklin guy that be dancing. No. Is that the dude that's, that's selling uh, Corona uh, tests for $150? What? No. Okay, so I saw there was a pastor selling Corona tests for $150. That's a pastor? Okay. He gonna mess around and have it, watch. Nah, this dude, brother, brother Franklin, he, he, he do every every Sunday or whatever. African dude, I think right. he do it every time his offering. This dude don't just walk up and put his offering in the plate. He got a dance. He got like a dance that he do, and he be like doing all kinds of crazy shit to just put the offering on. That could be that's that's Marcus's church. That's that's probably past the uh, Reverend Peter Pop off. That's Pop off's church. Pop -off. <laughs> He's called I, don't Pop -off. Trust, I don't trust none of these motherfuckers' names, man. I mean, anything. That just seemed biblical to me. Creflo Dollar. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's, what's, what's the white boy that told people they couldn't come in uh, when they had the hurricane? Uh, is that Creflo Dollar? No, it don't. No, he no the white boy. <laughs> Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen. Yes. Yes. You can't see Peter Popoff though. Joel wasn't having it. He was like, "Oh, I know there's a." So I know there's a there's a horrible horrible hurricane in in Houston, but, but no, nah, nigga, no. Nah. You motherfuckers can't come up in here. Though. Take that, take that next door. Take that, take that next door. Next door. <laughs> as, he puts, yeah, as he puts the chains on. <laughs> right, you will not fuck up my <laughs> night <laughs> church. <laughs> oh no, may God bless you. <laughs> as he as he closes the blinds. Like, yeah. <laughs> nope. I hope you find what you seek. <laughs> <laughs> May Jesus walk with you. 
<laughs> and and, and maybe over there. Over there. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> right. Hopefully he walks with you over there. He said, let, let me Jesus walk with you. Hold on, but step back for a minute. Just take a step back. <laughs> take a quick one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> boop, beep, boop. Like totally close the <laughs> Put the alarm on and go. <laughs> You got 60 seconds to get out the door. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, my oh. God. Y'all funny as shit. That motherfucker go right outside, put the alarm on, come outside, and get right into his car and drive home. <laughs> Lock the place up. I ain't staying here, but I'm just going to make you that. Oh, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> but you ain't staying here either. I'm not staying, I ain't staying here. You ain't either. Like, well, why would I let you stay here? I'm not even staying here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> can, I, can I stay with you then? Oh, hell no. Hell you no. Oh, God, no. Oh dear, oh, dear. oh, dear God, no. Dear God, no. <laughs> dear God, no. <laughs> dear, dear God, no. Oh. I got, I got, we, we got a nice little bunker. Me, Creflo. <laughs> Get pop off. <laughs> we are by any street. Pop off, Peter. Peter, pop off. Well, gentlemen, I can hear the missus calling me. Uh-oh. 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 You know, puts the baby at the top of the steps so I can hear the crying. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. It'll bring your ass up. Yeah. <laughs> Even at home. This is the downside of the quarantine. That, uh, this nigga is in jail. Time check, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Phone check. <laughs> phone. Oh, phone check. Mm-hmm. You been on there, you been on there long like, enough. Like, you know, I can really smell the fun for real now. Like, yeah, I, I know, baby. I know. Oh no. So yeah. gentlemen. That's about right. That's cool. That's a that's a that's a good episode then. Say, well you keep going, but uh for me, same bad channel. No. <laughs> we all out. When we done, we all done. Screw that. So on that note, this motherfucker Damo's turned into a mime. And uh we we gonna, we gonna conclude this episode. Everybody, uh, make sure you uh, check out the website. You ain't doing it at home. Go to wineballsandwashclaws.com. Check buy out the merchandise. Right, buy some merch. Listen to some buy old episodes, some man. You got plenty of them. You ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Instead of listening to D-Nice, put on Wine Balls and Wash Claws. Ain't nothing better than a lady wearing a uh, Wine Balls and Wash oh. Claws with we no a, We got a new co-host. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was right. <laughs> so oh. Asian is the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Hey. But we got this episode right there. Marcus. Appreciate it, brother. Same old. All right. And we out.